The Bodhisattva is an enlightened being who decided not to enter the final nirvana mm -hmm. to help further beings to uh, reach that entrance. Within the religious context, we would expect that the figure would have been consecrated through a very specific ritual. And in, within that ritual, small different kind of uh, sacred items would have been put inside of the figure, such as maybe a short section of a sutra or some precious stones or even special herbs. But obviously the base played is sealed, so we didn't want to open it because in that way we would destroy the bronze itself. So we took the figure to a facility to make a radiograph of it, to see what is actually inside. And to our surprise, we did find several objects. What we could find is a very short scroll of paper. You can also see various fractions of textile. And you can also find four possibly small beads. It's really exciting because this in a way shows that this figure has actually been used in a Buddhist context and it has actually been consecrated through that very special spiritual ritual in the 15th century. This figure is as influenced by a northern Indian style. The style evolved during the 15th century, during the era of uh, Yongle and the Emperor Xuande. And during his reign, there was a very flourishing period for Buddhist art at the imperial court. It's engraved with uh, a certain mark on the top of the base. And so we can say that this was probably part of the imperial collection or what was used at the imperial court. And if you go closer to it, you can see all the very finely cast details, which is rather special also because it, is, it just represents the high quality of the guild figures of that period. It is indeed the beauty behind this figure that is in a way unique and it speaks to you. And having that peace in a room, it gives you that kind of calm and peace feeling.